you already ready to go? Packed up quick, baby. Just yep. Well, folks, it is 7.36, and we are just packing up. I was all gung-ho about getting an early start this morning, but let's bring you back, back a few hours. Back, back to the night. So, I'm gonna zoom in there real quick and then do a little bit of out, let's pull my hair, a little bit of a pivot. What happened last night? We found out that ATVs can't get through those mud puddles. <laughs> so, right around like 10 o'clock, like perfect, I had just fallen asleep, my eyes were just shut and my body was just shutting off. And it was like that sleep that just comes to you so easily. Um, so just started crashing out. So pleasant. And then night turned into day once again. Four big old ATVs with top racks. Um, so I don't know if they're called ATVs or like golf they were carts. Like dune buggies. Yeah, golf carts on steroids at that point. Um, came through those mud puddles, which I did not think they were going to be able to get through. And they came right by our tent. So one of them actually said, sorry about that, which made us feel better. But then they went down the two track and I don't know how far they got and how much noise travels, but they didn't get far. And then they just sounded like partied for an hour or two. Happily, they didn't come back this way and wake us back up. But after they came through, the adrenaline had spiked. And once the adrenaline spiked, I couldn't go back to sleep. I actually ended up pouring water on myself because my body like pushed out heat again to wake up. So I actually had to pour water on my face and my chest to uh, lose a little bit of the heat to go back to sleep. And then once we were sleeping, Magpie and I were both waking up throughout the night being like, oh, there's ants crawling on us. We're in an ant heavy area. I think um, the ants have a colony inside this rotten log. Yeah, the ants have a colony here somewhere. So. It was a very sporadic sleep last night. Um, when it, we were so stoked about this campsite, <laughs> so stoked. It's still great campsite in the essence of not wet or muddy or whatever. But we had visitors last night. How do you feel about the visitors, baby? Mm. Yeah, me too. So morning, morning. Today, not on, a, not on a Saturday. This would probably be fine. Yeah. Yeah, weekends are rough for through hikers because weekends, depending where you are, you're going to get a lot of activity. Um, weekends, you have to be strategic. I don't know if I've touched on that before, but as a through hiker, weekends, you usually have to be a little more strategic with your placement of camp. Um, we thought we were far enough out that this wouldn't be an issue, but yeah. I guess the road that way is the main road into the county seat, which is Marietta. Yep. And it's like, looking at the map, it's like, meh, 25 minute drive from like the main population center. So, yeah. oops. So they come play out here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. We're gonna go get into the Whipple today. It's June 27th, day 58 on trail. Let's go check out some Whipple nipples. Oh, I did so good until then. See us. Oh, we go up? Baby go up? Baby go up? Yep. So, believe it or not, if I can do the pan correctly, let's see if I can do the pan. Right there, in that little corner of the screen, was other hikers. Um, wow, we're just not used to it. I think we're gonna have to get used to it for Michigan, but anywhere else, it really has been feeling like just us, that there's no other hikers in the world, just us. But there are other hikers out there. That was impressive. It's really weird when you do these lesser known trails and 
I guess not peak seasons. Like the Finger Lakes probably is bumping in peak season or at least busier. But the way we were doing this is, yeah, not many people. We see ATVers a lot, but not much other hikers. So we, it is. So we are on the Archer's Fork. And as you can see, the trail got also crazy better. It's a footpath instead of a bushwhack or a bush path. Very nice. So we were just sitting, chilling on a rock because there's a lot of nice rocks around here. I wanted to take a rock sit break, um, but we were just sitting there and I'm like tucked up on the corner of the rock and Magpie's like sitting near the base of it. And this good old Great Dane pupper comes up and it's just so jolly, so drooly and just sticks its head in Magpie's lap. Yeah, he was with his people, but it was very sweet seeing how much drool. Yeah, Magpie got covered in drool. Well, that's not that's that's also not new for you each day, right? No, you drool on me all the time. Oh, Magpie says I drool. But yeah, it's nice seeing other hikers and other puppers. Very nice. So and if the dog drools on Magpie, that is always a plus. That dog was really happy. That dog was happy. That was a funky looking rock. Baby, can you paint me like one of your French girls? Okay. Come on. Okay. All right, we're gonna get you an easel and some colored paints in, in town. So Archer's Fork Loop, really so far, has been fantastic trail. Um, I would even go as far to say, from what we've experienced so far in Ohio, it has been the most well-maintained, even most scenic um, single track so far. <clears throat> I'll go as far to say that. We have still a lot of Ohio left, so it might not be the overall best, but so far what we've experienced, really good. Great cave. Okay. How great do you think it is? How far away do you think it is? I bet you can see it from right here. Yep, you can see it from right here. Oh, it is a great cave. Wow. Off of the trail, there is a great cave that indeed looks great. Um, looks like people camp underneath there too. Yeah, that's pretty big. I've seen bigger. Is that what you're trying to say? No. You're trying to say you've seen bigger? I don't know why you're making fun of me like this today. Oh. I'm going to take a picture of the great cave. No, I don't know what, I can't see it. So unfortunately, the trail does not go to the natural bridge, but I guess I'm walking there anyway. Just started walking and this is where it took me. Okay. There's a natural bridge, right? Oh, that's very cool, right in here. Um, it's gonna be hard to see right here um 
this is it. This is the natural bridge. It looks like just rock, but if you walk, I think you're allowed to walk on it. If you walk onto it, it's a natural bridge across this giant gully. Very cool. All right, that's the natural bridge. Back to trail. All right, after the land bridge, if you come up a little bit, there's a nice campsite. There's a fire ring between my crotch. Um, that's what they, that was my nickname in high school, fire ring crotch. Um, there's a magpie. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's a lot of these campsites along the archer's loop. So you don't really have to be picky. There's a lot of good ones. But we're sitting down, been about five miles on the day, just sweaty and tired. Didn't sleep good last night. Yeah, didn't sleep good last night. The energy, the energy is just super wane, waning today. Today's not a big hike and fluff day. Today's a hike and oof day. You get these on trail. A hike and oof day. But as you can see, I'm wearing pants. Ooh, look at how sexy the pants are. Look how sexy that is. Hi. Hello. No, 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 no. Oh, it's cold though. Oh, wow, it's surprisingly cold. Good agua. I stand here. This is my home now. Come on. Mm -mm. I stay. I put a blaze on uh, old oil. Ow. The horns. Old oil machine, it looks like. All right, so I think we split with the Arches Fork right here um, to Scenic River, Nine Bell Trail. So, yeah, we're splitting with the Arches Fork Trail. That was an awesome trail, and now we are on a bell trail. Why is there danger, baby? There's dang danger right there. Oh, dang danger? All right, all right, all right. Finally, the Whipple. Um, just finished up the Nine Bell Trail. Um, and this is where the official Whipple of the NCT starts. I'm gonna get up here. Looks like there's some folks. So I'm not gonna film all of it, but I'll film once we uh, stop and take a quick break. Cool, cool. Whipple. Ugh, we have some more weird fucking loops too coming up. Yeah. Yeah. More <laughs> bullshit trail sections too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, in like 400 miles. Baby, no. All right, folks. If I zoom in right there, I don't think it actually says the Whipple, but. If I zoom in right there, that's a nipple. Hi. How do you know I'm zooming in on you? 
because of how you're holding your phone. No. So we are about to start the Whipple of the Nipple. Um, it's been too long. I thought we were whippling nipples way before this, but this is where it starts. Um, little Scenic River Trail. And the NCT goes that way somewhere. Just use this as a lunch break and a sit break. No energy today at all. At all. It's just gone. It's all gone. How you feeling, baby? Tired. Yeah? What happens if I do this type of zoom, though? <laughs> Can you guess what I'm zooming in on? Yeah. Can you? Yep. No. All right, we are in the Whipple Nipple. All right, we're somehow moving again. Um, got like 15 or 16 miles left on the day, so we're letting that pull us to the end since it's not that long. But wow, both of us are just zonked today. Um, yeah, I really think that sleep took it out of us yesterday not sleeping with the ants crawling on us and then the atvs but we're gonna get there we're gonna keep on walking slowly but surely don't call me surely Whew, tired baby finding agua Aquas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can take a shower right there. Pretty cool. The Whipple. It's in the Whipple. Find it. Baby, you banana laffy taffy living? I have no idea where she's going. Oh, magpie. All right, don't always follow the magpie. Sometimes she gets in a strawberry world, a strawberry laffy taffy world. Banana Laffy Taffy World is already uh, not a great place to be. Strawberry Laffy Taffy World whew, won't have a bad time. Ooh, North Country Slash Buckeye. I need a picture. That water, folks. That's some good water. That's some good water. Um, straight no filter, no problem on that. That's coming from either underground up there or across the way. I wouldn't no filter, no water this part, but, but that. Straight out of the pipe, I think, is a spring. Yeah, straight out of the pipe. It is, tastes like a spring. Is always good. So this is like Big Run Road area. There's not even um, any algae in the pipe. It's just like straight up clear good water. Yeah. So I don't really know how to tell you exactly where. It's in the Whipple. It's in between a lot of ups and downs, which is also the Whipple. Um, the, I think I could say it's like Whipple 0.3 or something on the Buckeye Trail map. So 
you got water all day in the Whipple. It's just, this one's the best one we've seen today. So we're taking a quick break by it. I don't know why it gets foggy when I zoom out. I'm gonna have to Maybe start. Maybe one of your lenses is a bit, yeah, it's got some water on one of the lenses. Oh. Oh, it is a uh, wet, yeah, wet. Yeah, we're exactly on Whipple section point three. Section point three, Whipple section point three. It is a wet, wet day, wet day. Got a little thickness. Yeah. yeah. Really that much worse than what no. The Whipple is in fact a ripple. If you look at the elevation chart, it is like a wave passed through with giant troughs, giant peaks. Um, it's hiking. It's hiking again. Whew. The belly sweat is proper. I think I've drank Mm, six liters today and still super dehydrated just pouring out sweat every single second but we have about three more good climbs and other people that do other trails are watching this like 500 feet that's not a climb hey you come to ohio for so long and then all of a sudden get climbs we'll call 500 foot climbs ah oh, to be in the mountains of ohio <laughs> I don't know. Hikers like to just have fun. So, yeah, we got three more kind of bouncies to go. Finally getting some energy again, which is nice. It's like 4.30 or 5 o'clock. Bouncy bounce, bounce, bounce. Once again, the trail likes us to route, route us through somebody's property. Um, it should cut somewhere. It might be going... I see a blaze here. And I see a turn signal there. So, yep, there's a blaze up here. Ooh, this would be a nice camping area. Ooh, yummy, but it's somebody's property. Got water next to you, flat grass. Ooh, yummy. But no, we climb. Up, up. we go <sighs> top of the second climb <laughs> we're not going fast today the whipple's whippling my ass it's sweaty the whipple is whippling me hard so whew, don't know what to tell you it's sweaty it's, it's hot bad. i don't know toasty. why they made us do this <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot, lot of really pointless up and down yeah, trail's really, good. Really, really pointless up and down. Single track's good, but it's steep. There's a lot of steepness in there. Yeah. Ooh, look at that hair. It's uh, an average of, let's see, what was the last one? They have it written down on the waypoints. Let's see. It's climbed steeply at an average 13% grade for 0.4 of a mile. Let me tell you, average 13% grade means that there are many places that are significantly steeper than that. There are, baby. I don't like it. Mm -mm. No. The Whipple. I'm sweaty and I hate this and I just want to be on a road. <laughs> we got some Whipple section What happened section to left. our roads and bike paths in Ohio? They did not reel. Figment. Figment imagination. Rude. Whipple. I don't like this state. Whipple. I disagree. Whipple. All right, this little valley has a lot of washout. Um, so it's kind of hard to find the blazes. Um, it's after that, I don't know, Whipple section three or four, I believe, or five. Hmm. After it was after point four, after the climb there. So yeah, it's a little, little rough. Stay on your R's and W's. Yeah, it's super washed out. Um, there's blazes every so often, but you keep crossing this creek bed and I don't know, it just keeps bouncing you back and forth. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. So yeah, stay on your R's and W's. 
it gets a little rough. Spring life. It's a spring and a creek. There's a couple places that, that the spring's popping out. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, that is a spring. Spring life. Um, don't really know where to tell you where it is in here. Just look for a deep pocket of water and some bubbles. <laughs> um, even if I try to give you directions in here, it would be impossible. It's just so brushy and washed out. So, there's a spring. Alright, right after Whipple 0.5, it gets a little wacky again. Um, yeah, it starts to, the Whipple starts to get pretty, pretty confusing. Um, like, not absolutely confusing, but enough that you have to stay on top of it. Um, it kind of peters out every so often. Um, it looks like there was a property being built down near that part of the trail, so yeah. But we're climbing. We're on single track. We're going to get to the top of this climb as well. Another one's about to bite the dust. Let's get it. All right, so we're on top of Bean Ridge. Um, the trail goes that way, but we heard that there's a landslide in that trail and a lot of dangerous washout. So the Whipple, um, I think it's like the number seven mark. It's like a mile, mile and a half kind of river loop. Um, we're not going to go into that. Don't want a chance washout and yeah, that type of danger at the end of the day. So, um, hurts the mentality, but again, it's a long, long trail. And like any through hike, you have to do the things that make you safe. So we are not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna just cruise on where this trail reconnects anyway, this little gravel road. And yeah, cruisy, cruisy, let go. can't. I'm beat. I'm drenched. Got every little bit of hydration ringed out of my body. Wow. I'll do a check-in once we stop. I really don't got... Wow. I'm just... I'm beat. All right, the day is done. As you can see, we took way more breaks, almost the same amount of breaks as hiking. But um, at 26.6 miles, that broke me. Um, as you can see, we're setting up camp right now. Oh, that is foggy. That last, that last mile, uh, mile and a half, started getting, I had this a few times on other trails, but like started blacking out while I was walking and I'm pretty positive it's from dehydration, severe dehydration. What do you mean by blacking out? It's having his vision black out on him. Yeah, so my vision would get really black around the edges and then go black. And then my body wouldn't want to go. So it wasn't just exhaustion, exhaustion. It was like, I've had this on the PCT. I've had this on the Natchez. Um, a few times when I'm pushing my body and a few days stack up. So like yesterday was humid high humidity all day and just drench and sweat and then today was high humidity all day just drench and sweat so i think eventually the body gets so depleted that it just it's like a switch and pop so i drank seven liters of water today and this still happened yeah i drank seven liters of water but i just pour out sweat so um i'm gonna do a, a scout master log for the patreon once i get into the tent um gotta set up the tent magpie's blowing up the pad right now so that 26.6, um, it's sometimes not the giant days that get you. And it's not necessarily the elevation that was what it was today. It was the humidity that you pour out sweat nonstop. There's not one second that you're sitting, standing, walking, whatever, that you're not in a pool of your own sweat. So it's almost impossible to supplement 
for my body type that amount of water. So I'll be pounding back water in camp tonight. Yeah, 26.6 miles. That was that last mile or two was one of the harder mile or two that I've done um any of the through hikes. Natchez, it was up there with that. Yeah. Be careful folks. Summertime, be careful. Alright. I'm gonna stop filming and start resting. I'll get the Patreon video out here shortly to uh describe it in more detail. Cool, cool. What a day. Whew.